welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Barefoot Style. Of course, you already know I am your host, Megan. I am doing something really special today to me. Um, well, it means a lot to me anyway, so check it out. I was gifted this beautiful palette that I'm about to show you. Um, a girlfriend of mine messaged me and she was like, hey, um, so I know this is gonna sound weird and I really don't know where to start, but God put this on my heart to give to you. Um, she said, I got a Jeffree Star mystery box. Anyway, she already had the palette and here we go. I've got it and I'm so blessed. And it's so funny, I told her, I was like, dude, I looked at this a few days ago and I was like, man, I'm on a budget right now. So I was like, Lord, I'm about to use Afterpay, freaking Quad Pay, Klarna. I will buy this sucker. But I was like, no, Megan, be smart. Don't do it. But man, she just came out of nowhere and she was just like, let's meet up. And we did. And, and I got it. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So again, this is the Bloodlust palette by Jeffree Star. And it retails for about $52, $53. It is very expensive. Um, but let's go ahead and open it. Let's see why. And of course, this is an old, this is an old palette. It came out in February. So if you open it, it has the logo on the top. And this is a crushed velvet uh, material. It's gorgeous though. I love it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this sucker out if I can. I will not be holding on to this this box. It's trash. Um, there we go. And here it is. Wow, she is gorgeous. You can just see the texture, and it just feels the way it sounds. Yes, I also don't have my nails on. I'm also going to give my nails a break. They need to breathe. Um, all right, let's open it up. All right, so it comes with a mirror on the top. It also has a plastic cover. So the plastic cover is a little bit scratched up, but as long as it's the cover and not the actual mirror, I'm good. This is the makeup. Wow. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, Royal Pain. I'm assuming, 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 not assuming that they mean Royal, royal Pain in my Batoki. You guys, these, this is the softest stuff. I'm so serious. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so, man, my stupid arm. That is so pretty. Oh my god. That is a that's that's gorgeous. Freaking love it. I love it. Um all right, let's go into dungeon. Beautiful. Wow. That's gorgeous too. Oh my god. Scandal water. Scandal Walter. So pretty. Here we go. Sworn Enemy. Sworn Enemy. That one reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. Sworn Enemy of the Galactic Alliance. Anybody remember that? <laughs> the Evil Emperor Zerg. All right. All right, I'm rubbing all up in the yet. Um, here we go. Wow, that is, if I could twist my arm anymore. This is such a weird angle. There we go. Wow, this, I, I hope this is helping. <laughs> it's the angle. Anyway, that is so pretty, you guys. I'm gonna try to come up with a look. But some of y'all have already seen this, some of you guys already own this, but man, I'm telling you, this is such a blessing. I really was not expecting it. And, um, you know, God just, just keeps on reminding me that he loves me. He cares about me and he cares about the tiny things. 
You know, he knew that, that getting new makeup was, was on my heart. And I know that sounds dumb to some people. Oh, yeah, God's going to bless you with makeup. It doesn't matter, man. Like, God, he will use anything, anything to to tell you, you know, hey, I'm thinking about you. It's just like any relationship. I mean, if your boyfriend or your girlfriend gets you a bag of chips or candy, it's little. It's not like they're paying your rent or paying a bill or buying you a car, but it's something to remind you, I'm thinking about you. You're always on my mind. So this was that for me, you know? So I just wanted to to share this with you guys. I'm so blessed, I'm so excited, and I'm so, you know, thankful that my friend was uh, obedient, you know, and gave it. Because she said she already had this palette. And you guys, I'm just thankful, so thankful. Um, so let me go ahead and keep going. Uh, let's see, Pink Magic. Pink Magic. That already, wow, is so pretty. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh, 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 Jesus, take the wheel. All right, we're going to go into Bleeding Heart. Oh, you guys are going to flip. Oh. Look at that. They are so crazy pigmented. Okay, Executioner is this dark one. Oh, you guys are gonna flip. You guys are gonna flip. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm tripping. Oh my God. Stunning. Come on, Jeffrey. Give your employees a raise. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, okay, um, let's go. Hi, King. That one's softer. Definitely still beautiful, absolutely. Let's go into Vivid Mood. Vivid Mood, and then I'm gonna switch fingers. Beautiful. Executioner's killing me, the one in the middle. That is so beautiful. Here we go, here we go. Man, the only thing is that it stains your fingers. Well, that's because of how rich and how uh, how much pigment is actually in these. So, you know, you want some payoff, it's gonna come at a cost. It's gonna leave you a little bit stained. Uh, the next one is Monarchy, and that is a very light uh, tan nude. You may not be able to see it on my hand uh, because, you know, I am Hispanical. And it's basically my, sh my shade. So it's right here. Anyway, you you know, you get the idea. You get the idea. All right, next one is Blood Queen. This one is like a purple. Super pretty. Okay, whoa. All right, I'm gonna do it right across the top. That one's beautiful too. Wow, freaking love it. Okay, last two. Vi uh, vile serpent which is like a teal blue kind of aqua that is that shade right there super pretty you guys are like why are you why are you freaking putting pigment all over your hand that's such a weird spot it is a weird spot it definitely is i'm not arguing there but anyway just anything to show you guys what these shades are looking like. And the very last one that I need to do and show you guys is called Betrayal. And let's try it. All right. Oh, wow. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a look with this. I'm gonna do my best and uh, let's see what I come up with, okay? <laughs> I'll see you on a sec. All right, y'all, so I put on my eyebrows. Um, wow, the stain is real. Uh, I put on my eyebrows and I'm gonna go ahead and try to create something. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, I haven't really moved too much into intense like really rich colors ah that's a lie 
I guess maybe because it's purple, the packaging is pur purple, it's making me think I need to do purple, purple, purple. Um, but I'm really feeling Vile Serpent, this really pretty bluish teal color. I'm really feeling that one. And I'm also feeling Executioner, which is that gorgeous shimmery shade right there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm going to see if I can do something with that, with those uh, in particular. And um, we're just going to see what we come up with, okay? All right, here we go, Jesus. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some shadow under my, like right under here. Mm, I think I'm gonna use the Vile Serpent again because I didn't catch much at all at the top. Um, I don't really think it's because of the pigment itself. I think it's the way that I put it on. I didn't prime my eyes. I didn't put any concealer. Um, so that is on me. That is, that's why. That's cute. That is super cute. Oh my god. See, even if your eyeshadow gets jacked up, throw on some eyeliner and an eyelash. And generally, generally, not all the time, girl. Generally, you will look pretty decent. Thank you, Jesus. So if you notice my eyes look a lot bigger, it's because I am using white eyeliner on the waterline and not black. And that definitely opens up the Ojos, if you were wondering. But I like it. I like the eyeshadow. I think it's super pretty, very, very cute. Um, I think the payoff as well is is really nice um i love the colors i love this pink on the inner corner i love that teal blue super pretty super pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and just dust all of this off and um let's keep it going
All right, you guys, that is my finished look. I think it looks really pretty. Um, it's so pretty. I, I will say it's it's 53 bucks, 52, 53, something like that. Um, the colors are super pigmented. The payoff is there. I love this inner crease thing I got going on. I'm gonna show you guys the colors one more time. Oh, did I get some makeup? Nope. I would say totally worth it. The shades are super pretty. Again, I mean, I can't say that word enough. Pretty, 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 pretty. That's it. Here we go, man. I'm so happy that I got this sucker. Oh my God. So this is the Bloodlust Artistry Palette and it is totally worth it, I would say. Some of the application, um, I didn't prep correctly. I didn't prep all the way. I didn't like my eyes, I didn't prime. Um, I know not a lot of people do that anyway, but you know, for the look that I was kind of going for, I should have done that. So I really think it depends on what look you're trying to achieve. Um, but this is definitely not what I was trying to achieve. It just kind of happened. But anyway, yes, again, I love this thing. And thank you again, my friend, Laura, for uh, gifting this to me. Um, it was uh, so out of the out of the blue. And I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful and I'm grateful um, for this gift. You are the best and I'm praying for you. Okay. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and like, comment, subscribe. And that's it. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.